All right, welcome back everybody. This is just gonna be a quick check on hives three and four. My main focus this time around is to check the top boxes, uh, primarily the frames that had queen cells on them. So I also wanted to share a tip that was left in a Facebook comment. A gentleman said that when he finds a queen cell, he marks the frame with QC. And I thought that's such a fantastic idea. Why haven't I been doing this the whole time? So he said it helps him remember where the queen cells were so when he goes to inspect the hive he's more gentle with those frames so when you're removing them it doesn't damage them and then i thought another benefit to marking the frames where the queen cells are at is over time because the bees can tear down a cell pretty quickly if you're having a hard time remembering where they were that might help you do so so anyway let's just get into hive three in the top box did not mark the frame, so I don't remember where it's at, so I'll just move through a few. Typically, I leave the queen cells in the center, so that's where I expect to find them, and I will be marking them just with a pen, QC on the frame, so next time around, I can, well, remember where they're at. But really, I'm hoping to see some hatched queen cells, and then I'll leave them alone for a week, come back, check, and see if the queen that has hopefully hatched returned and started laying some eggs. All right, so let's take a look into hive three. Smoker going. And hopefully we have a few cells that have hatched. So if my memory serves me correctly, this colony I left in the top box again, a frame with a capped queen cell and another cell, wet cell, that was about halfway along, if I had to guess. Oh, that's weird. Check that out. I have never seen that before. But a bee died. A bee actually died in the frame. The other bees didn't remove it. And then lar uh, what do you call it? Maggots. Yeah, I was gonna say larva. It looks like larva moved in. That's strange. So if anybody if anybody knows what's going on there, I'd appreciate some comments because I've never seen that before. And I'm going to take a picture of that. Yeah, the bees are usually pretty good at removing they're dead so stuff like that doesn't happen and I'm in the center frame now and I don't see the queen cell yet so I'm gonna give it one more frame actually let me get this flashlight going see if I can yeah, it's just hard to see hold on Yeah, that is extremely weird. Weird to me, at least. So there's a whole bunch of pupated larva, which is fine. I'm really looking for eggs, in addition to checking the queen cell. And you start getting hopeful, especially when the pupated larva gets smaller and smaller, because that means it just started turning from an egg. It's like, you really need to find eggs. Alright, so nothing there. Let me remove this dead bee that just never, no 
never made it out of the hive. And I'm gonna tear this down a little. Hoping, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I've never done this before either. And I have absolutely no idea if this is like anything that's gonna work, but an effort to try and kill these maggots. Let's do this real fast. I'm gonna use the torch. I have never found live maggots in a hive. So this is this is completely new. Hopefully that takes care of the problem right there. And it doesn't become yeah, hopefully it doesn't become a bigger problem. I have never done that before. I don't know if that is a technique at all. Kind of just made it up. Hmm. All right, let's get into the next frame. Really hoping to find these queen cells. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. So we were on frame. That's a nine frame because I have a feeder in, so it's nine, eight, seven, six. So basically, I just leave it as close as possible to the center. So as you can see, that queen cell is still capped on your right and the cell to the left is almost capped yeah this is extremely strange why are these bees dying here's another one look at this let me turn this around i just scraped the bee off but right here there's another bee that was dead and larva moved in or I keep saying larva maggots moved in and I've never never experienced that before it's just kind of weird so the gentleman that left the comment didn't he didn't say where he marks the frames but I'm going to mark them where they are so, QC, and then how I found them. So one will be the, one will be the mature, the more mature cell, and two will be the one that's getting capped, or in the process of being capped and maturing. And hopefully the camera picks up on this, but just to share, if you can see that or not, on the left, you should see a nice queen being developed. It's pretty cool. That's a thing. Alright. Alright, so that's it. Well, let me check one more frame. So hive three, two queen cells. They still have a bunch more brood that hasn't hatched yet. That's interesting. Let me look at that real quick. So there's a queen cup. There's two queen cups right here. And it almost looks like one has an egg. What's going on here? <sighs> Come on, man. It almost looks like one has an egg in it, which is interesting. Huh. 
No kidding. One has an egg in it. So... It makes me wonder... So now I'm shifting gears. When I was out here last week and I could not find the queen, and I could not find any eggs. So now I'm just going to do a quick check to see if I can find either one of those things. Man. I'll tell you what, bees... Bees definitely make you work for it, that's for sure. Here's a whole bunch of pupated larva. This entire frame, well, the down, the downside of it here, there's nothing but pupated larva. So you would, you would expect to find some eggs. what the side has to say. Right here. It's the outside of the frame, so that's not, that's not a big surprise. It just has me thrown off because that queen cell that queen cup really that's being developed has has an egg in it and then there's a whole bunch a whole bunch of pupated larva throughout this side and I'm looking on the edges of the smallest larva which is where you should be able to find eggs and there's an egg right there oh they're hard to see even with this flashlight yeah so there's eggs so the queen is still here oh man that's interesting this flashlight's giving me hell let's switch over to the big one so the queen is still here, so I can either let them swarm, because they have one capped queen cell, as you saw, one that's going to be capped pretty soon, and another queen cup with an egg in it, or I can take the time, try and find the queen, cage her, and move her over into a nuke, <laughs> and try that whole thing again, if you look back at previous videos. Pretty sure I screwed that up a few times this year already. But yeah, no kidding. Let me see if this is any easier. Oh yeah, this is way easier. I think I just had the angle wrong. Where was I at? Yeah, it is. It's just difficult to see. Is it this side or the other side? <laughs> so that's an outside frame too. And that has a, yeah, there's a, yeah. So she's still here. All right, changing gears. Now, I'm switching over to possibly trying trying to find the queen. And at this point, most likely, she's in the bottom box. Here's another queen cell here. And 
Oh yeah. That has. That has a maturing queen in it. Okay. And they're just capping honey on that side. Alright, so. Not to get a. Uh, not to get too off track here. Actually, let me. Let me mark this frame as well. So, okay, good enough. Just forgot what I said in the intro. Coming out here and point of checking on knobs. Need some smoke. So I had a queen cell. Did this one? No. Alright. Yeah, so at this point, with all the commotion, the light, you know, having the hive open and everything, she's most likely in the bottom box by now. So, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm just going to have to... Gonna have to uh, go frame by frame and see if I can. See if I can find her since I found some eggs. So. And they look like day old eggs, so the queen's still here because I got out here a few days ago. Today's Tuesday, I was out here Sunday, so I mean three days ago, and there's day old eggs. I don't see any eggs on that side. Start seeing more brood at this point. The center frames and all. Yeah, if I can find, if I can find a queen. I'd be pretty happy because I wasn't able to last time, which is why I left everything alone and didn't make any splits off of this because they had some developing queen cells. And I believe previous times. I made a split a little too early. And they didn't uh they didn't fare too well. Alright, let's see. Where is she at? how the new bees really stand out. These are dusty colored. There's a whole bunch of them too. I 
that's interesting. What is going on there? Looks like a brand new bee hatch, and the other one's cleaning it off, and I actually saw a mite crawling over it, even though I treated it for mites. Which, I mean, that's never a guarantee. You always have mites. bringing in pollen, so that's a good sign. That means they're feeding larva. There's some spun larva through that here, too. Oh, I just want to find this one needle in a haystack. Literally. It's amazing how hard the queen bee is to find sometimes, and then when you do find her, it seems like she sticks out like a sore thumb. Oh, this is taking a while. with pollen on them than usual. That's always a good thing. Come on. Just looking for that one. That one bee. And I'm looking so hard, as I said earlier, it's just based on the fact that there's eggs in here still. I thought with the development of a few queen cells that they already swarmed because I really didn't find, didn't find any eggs last week. So I thought, I thought they swarmed. But now finding eggs days later, like one or two day old eggs. A few days later makes me think they have a laying queen in here. And I just couldn't find her last time. I just saw something that stood out because they're moving fast and if you look back at another video hive two I had a queen look like a new queen maybe a virgin queen I don't know but I mean she was moving extremely fast through the hive and that's what just stood out to me on the other side of this frame Because usually, it's hard to get on video, but usually when you do find the queen, she is just plowing through the rest of the bees, which kind of makes her stand out sometimes. Golly, man. Well, it's kind of 
that stinks. It's always terrible when you can't find her. And you have now three swarm cells. One that's probably bound to hatch pretty soon. One more time, just for good cause. I'll make it quick. Nope. That's a drone. Just saw something large out of the corner of my eye. If you're still watching, appreciate it. This, uh, again, this went from a pretty quick video to, well, what I thought was going to be a quick video to a full-on inspection now that I have quite a few swarm cells. Exactly the uh, sunniest of days. You know what I was just thinking? Besides, I might just let these go and take care of themselves. Is on the top box there, those are super cereal cells. I keep, I'm used to saying swarm cells because it's that time of year. But yeah, those are super cereal cells because they're at the top third of the frame. And I'm noticing a few things that you really don't want to see 30 minutes already which is a uh, pupated larva which should be capped being uncapped and you can tell the size the cells are pretty dry because when you invert the frame they fall out some so having seen that or noticed that now in combination with the super cedral cells, I think it's best, I think it's best just to leave this hive alone and let them take care of themselves because something's going on. I'm not sure if it's a high mite count, even though I treat it for mites. Uh, I don't take the time to check how many mites I have and I feel kind of bad admitting that, but as folks say, if you have bees, you have mites and just depending on your area and stuff, they're there might not be really much you can do about that. Alright, yeah, so... I... I've come to the conclusion that I'm just going to let nature take its course. I'm going to put this hive back together. And there's three queen cells in the top box. I'm just going to let them do their thing because there is a reason that the bees haven't told me. But there is a reason they developed super cedral cells. So something is going on with the current queen that they do not like, for lack of better words, and they're just going to take care of themselves. And it should be rectified within a month because the one cell, as you see, is completely capped. The other one is very, very close to being capped. And then the third cell, or queen cup actually, that I noticed has an egg in it. So, given all that, actually, you know what I am going to do, because Hive 4 might be still struggling, uh, let's see, 
Yeah, that that very last frame, I might come back to that and move it into high four. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to do that anyway because I know for a fact, well, I don't know, but the, the frame I moved into high four to try and get them queen right, it might... <laughs> It might be a dead queen in there. Like another queen might have emerged because I think I moved that over from hive two. And they do have a queen, so she may have gone around and killed all the other cells. And you can't really tell because they're still capped and they look like they're good. So, yeah. Uh, well, let's see. Yeah, so let's do this. Is that frame. Where's the cells at? So I have one here. So I can safely remove this one. Check for eggs one last time. Pretty sure I already did it at some point. Yeah, this one has eggs too, so that's good. So I'm gonna move this one. So I'm gonna move this frame, the last two frames. That one has eggs, and this one has some nice drone brood and I believe that is the queen cup with an egg in it yes all right so it has a queen cell and there's like another one too and that's got some nice weight to it it's got some nice food 